So why are the wings bent up at the edges like that? What does that do? When McDonald was evaluating the XF4H1 prototype in their wind tunnel, test revealed that lateral instability above Mach 2 took place. In other words, the Phantom wanted to roll when it went fast. To overcome the problem, engineers had to add five degrees of dihedral to the wings. But instead of redesigning the center section of the jet with the landing gear, titanium spar, and all that other equipment, which would have been really expensive and time consuming, they added 12 degrees of dihedral to the wingtips where the wings folded for carrier storage. How cool is that? With the main part of the wing flat, like right here, and the wingtips angled up, the dihedral averaged out to about five degrees across the entire wingspan. Now the wings also got this cool looking dog tooth. This little jog right here in the wing's leading edge forces the airflow over the wing into a vortex, and that prevents airflow outward along the wing at high angles of attack, which increases lift and improves stall resistance. It also has the side benefit of augmenting airflow over the ailerons and increasing control. All right, I know what you're thinking. Okay, but what about that tail? That thing looks funky. I know, right? Look at this thing. It's so cool, but like the wings, the tail's design needed a bit of tweaking. At certain angles of attack during takeoff and landings, the engineers figured out that the zero dihedral on the original horizontal stabilators were suffering from severe turbulence caused by the wings and the fuselage. This reduced their effectiveness. So the engineers again put on their thinking caps and came up with a pretty nifty solution. They gave these stabilators a healthy negative dihedral angle and bam, they're out of the turbulence and can function normally in smooth air. <laughs>